Hi, in .NET 9, there is a built-in support for open API document generation. So if you don't know what is open API, it is a standard for writing API. Okay, so there is an open API dot organization. You should go and check it out if you don't know this. And what it does, it defines the specification, how your API should be defined and .NET 9 has this built-in support, meaning when you write your API, you can specify metadata for each endpoint. You can say what should be the description, different tags, and so on. Meaning your API project can be configured with different API UI document tools. So in past, you might be using the Swagger UI a Swagger UI is very familiar and mostly used. So you can see there is a different endpoints, put, post, get, and you can invoke them. You can specify authorization token and so on. Nothing wrong with that. But since you can have the open API out of the box, you can use different tools. And in this video, we will see the tool called Scalar. So to get started, we need to first install the package so i will just copy the command and let me clean and i will add the package here after that you need to import the aspinet core package from scalar and you need to add the map scalar api reference method into app configuration and that's it with this two step if you run application again you should have your API documentation ready. So now if I go to first, I will see my endpoint output. Here is my endpoint. I will say first weather forecast. This is my default endpoint, which return me some random data. And now I will see how it looks with Scalar. So this is my API documentation for weather forecast endpoint. It shows me how this API should be called with curl command or if you are using let's say JavaScript how it should be called with fetch and different tools like you can it, it gives you all the documentation out of the box not only that you can also execute that endpoint from here so you can send the request you can configure the headers cookies all the standard feature of UI tool and you can see the output here so pretty simple and it's more powerful like you can find the apis with the command k or control k in window and you can find the endpoints like this so you can publish it as it, on its own endpoint and you can pass on to your customer if you are building only api as a product and yeah give it a go and see by the way this is a open source in a way where you can use it for only on your own project but if you need some feature from this website then you need to pay for them okay so that's it for this video thank you bye bye